staffs pointed this out and others. I know more than they do. I don't think of myself as that smart. But I guess I do spend 15, 16, 17, 18 hours a day and lose sleep because I'm so obsessed with reality, studying everything, so I can tie everything together. And it's just, but it, it, it's not even hard. They, they have set up something in 235 years that's never existed. Where six members of the House, six members of the Senate, and the President, with a veto power over it, bills don't originate from members of the House anymore. Anybody can introduce a bill and then get co-sponsors and have it debated, and for six months it's in committee and looked at from every angle. No, listen to me carefully. I can't even believe this is happening, even though I knew it was all coming. It, 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 the, the fact that it's done and, and, and very few people even get what they're seeing here. Listen to me. 12 in the House, 6 in the House, 6 in the Senate, 1 Obama, that's 13, Council of 13, 6 in the House, 6 in the Senate, and Obama, 13. Now listen to me carefully. Now I'm going to read it from mainstream news to you. And they just say it nonchalantly like it's... Like it's some boring thing they've announced. Or, oh, good news, we won't go bankrupt now. We're not going to collapse when it's the contrary. It's designed to bring us into this. They can't have the rest of the Congress having the power to vote and speak up and, and the power to introduce bills because they know the people are going to get more and more awake and angry. So you've got this 13-member board with the president sitting in it. Drum roll, please. You got this 13-member council, and they originate the bills now. And then they bring the bill to the full House and Senate for an up-down vote, which they, again, don't have. And it, now, now, now here's the kicker. If they don't sign on to the plan they're presented, then the council just does whatever it wants. It just says, and I'm going to read the text, then the council will apply the cuts and the taxes. So you do the plan we want, House and Senate, or we do whatever we want. I, I mean, did you hear that? This is a total dictatorship, a fusion of the emperor, Caesar, and an inner coterie of senators and House members. I mean, did you hear what I just said to you? We'll be right back. Okay, so a council of 13, an act of high treason, has been passed by the House of Representatives. We are reportedly hours away from the Senate passing the same thing. The House and Senate are not allowed to hand away their authority. But they are basically signing a treaty with their vote with six members of the House, six of the Senate, and the executive. A treasonous treaty. Could the House and Senate sign a treaty to let the U.N. run America? Well, they have people on television telling us that that's the case. And then international law trumps our law. And that the U.N. says we can go to war, so we can go to war. We don't need a Congress. That's what's happening. And it's called the overthrow of our political system. But they call it a committee or a super Congress. No, if they vote to create a committee that will then try to organize the different bills that are still voted on, and then that committee comes forward with a final bill, that's what a committee is. A committee is not six in the House, six in the Senate where they originate the legislation. That's not how legislation is originated. This is a whole new form of government, a whoredom, a legion of doom, a legion of corruption. Twelve wicked, mafioso, ring wraith, craven, scumbag traitors. In fact, there's a headline right there, Super Congress Debt Ceiling. Negotiators aim to create new legislative body. That's the Huffington Post. In fact, let me just go through these. So, so, so this is happening right out in the face of everyone. I, 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 this is the equivalent of July 4th, but a bad July 4th. If it passes today, it's passed the House, August 2nd will be known as the date that a disgusting 13-member dictatorship was created, and the president has the veto power, so he's the dictator, and he has these 12 wicked generals, and because they sit there and say it in real boring terms and look down and fidget and 
and, and talk about how it's a victory for America and we averted collapse. That's why they built it up. We're going to collapse if we don't get this agreement, this agreement. It made it all about debt and cuts and what are we going to cut. That's not what they were after. That was all a smokescreen. Hidden in 100% plain total view. A new form of government. With the leaders of the House and the Senate and the President. And saying, in fact, if you don't believe me, we just showed you the Huffington Post. And they're reporting it dryly. Oh, new legislative body. It's unconstitutional, but so what? President's a dictator. We love it. If we allow him to get away with it. You see, that's what dictators don't come out and say. I'm a dictator. Martial law. Ha. They say security. We're going to have more police out. Security. Military. Uh, I'm launching a security operation in Libya. I'm launching a security operation in Poland or Danzig or Austria. My name's... My name's Hitler. They don't come out and say, hey, we're crooks. We're taking over. They come out and say, well, we've got a very dry, convoluted, and both sides compromise, and both sides aren't happy, but this will avert a collapse, and we're going to work on it now, and the cuts aren't even real. And it, it's all that, that part's all a scam. We're going to get into that. Kerry Reed and all of them are publicly, I'm going to read their quotes, licking their chops, saying we can cover everything, gun control, borders, Debt, banker bailouts. So oh, they're getting ready for the next looting. The, the, the original looting's ongoing, but even more. Carbon taxes. Hey, ATF? Why do you think Obama did something no president's ever done and said, well, I don't need a law. I'll just order the ATF to put new laws and new regulations in over gun dealers and start harassing gun owners. They're just doing it. I've never seen anything near this magnitude. Here's CBS News. Last night, right after it passes, a summary of the debt ceiling. And I'll show folks a document cam shot of this. We're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv. A summary of the debt ceiling compromise. And then it goes on to say 269, 161, 174 traitors, Republicans, and 94, 95 Democrats. And it goes on. To dryly in the bottom of the article say, the agreement creates a 12-person House and Senate special committee. Oh, it's very special. To identify further spending cuts. The committee must complete its work by Thanksgiving, November 23rd, Oh, really, it actually continues after that. And Congress must hold an up or down vote on committee recommendations. Oh, it's a recommendation, but you must vote it up or down. But wait, it gets worse. The committee could overhaul the tax code, which they're announcing they're going to increase taxes, or find savings and benefit programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Savings means cuts. Congress could not modify the committee's recommendation. Oh, you can't modify my recommendation. It's like Don Corleone. Your signature, your brains will be on the contract. Continuing. Now, here's the key. Now, listen to this carefully. This is CBS News. Listen to the magnitude of this. Should the special committee deadlock or should Congress reject the committee's recommendations? The automatic across-the-board spending cuts of at least $1.2 trillion would go into effect. But the committee, if you read the language, decides the cuts. So you do what we say or we do what we want. Period. We're dictators. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen the president two weeks ago. Couldn't get the bill passed. We put out a special video. Obama launches gun grab showing Congress months ago saying we're going to pass a bill where when you sell uh, two or more rifles uh, that the uh, form has to be filled out, a lengthy form on the person and sent to the ATF, even though... They already have the National Gun Tracking Center. They already have the instant check. You already have your background check runs at the FBI. They already write down uh, handgun, rifle, shotgun. They already know. It's about setting the precedent outside of law uh, to just say, we say do this, now jump. We pick these four states and say that you have to do this. And I talked to two different Austin gun dealers and to someone in my office and one of them talked to the ATF, one of the gun dealers. Then we're going to Larry Pratt. I want to fill you in on this. We put a special report out on, uh, as you know, yesterday. And the gun owner, the gun shop owner, called the ATF agent he knows, Daniel Jones here in Austin, the guy that runs the little sting operations against the gun shows to shut them down using illegal aliens. And he... he told him, this is weeks before they got the letter, he said, don't worry, that bill didn't pass, so we're not going to implement something that isn't law. Well, guess what? Didn't pass, they did it anyways. And it's a test. It's a tyrant's test. War in Libya. Congress says, well, you got to come to us for approval. Well, we'll even give it to you. He says, I don't need your approval. Puts out a statement saying this is for 
the legitimacy of the UN. That's a quote. That's treason. I take my orders from the UN, not the stinking Constitution. Carbon taxes outside of congressional law. Waivers to his buddies on health care outside of law. Waivers uh, on the carbon taxes. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, it goes on and on and on and on. And I am literally not scared. It's more like once a car wreck's already started and you're flipping down a ditch. I've been in a couple really bad car wrecks. One time a tornado blew me off the road. I've told you that story. I mean, my dad almost got killed. But once you're already flipping, you're not really scared. You're mainly just trying to hold on. And, and, and I'm seeing this, and, 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 and it's happening with a whimper, not a bang. Now, if you just joined us, I just read from CBS News saying, oh, it's so wonderful. The 12-member the board will create the legislation. It doesn't come from the bottom of the House anymore. It isn't debated. They will present it to the House and the Senate for an up or down vote. And then if they don't agree to what they're presented, then the Super Congress goes ahead and decides what to cut. I read you that from CBS News in the last segment. Article titled, A Summary of the Debt Ceiling Compromise. And by the way, the Senate just passed it. I mean, I, I am feeling sick at my stomach. Super Congress, here's another report. Super Congress debt ceiling negotiations aim to create new legislative body. That's Huffington Post. Okay, this is not debated. This is not debated. And yes, the Senate just voted um, two minutes ago. They've passed it. Incredible treason. We'll give you the vote count as soon as we get it. Larry Pratt of Gunners of America is our guest. And he, of course, put out a legislative alert saying Congress should decide whether Super Congress can impose gun control. And the way it reads, and I've got the latest text, I've got the Senate text, read it an hour before I got on air, uh, it has language in it, and here's Harry Reid quoted in the Associated Press, the Joint Committee, there are no constraints, Reid said on the Senate floor. They can look at any problem we have in government, any problem, it has an ability to look at everything, the power to tax, cut, Regulations, ladies and gentlemen, this is a council of 13 because the president has that veto. Talk about cryptic. Talk about creepy. And Gun Owners of America, legislative alert, Congress to decide whether Super Congress could impose gun control. Ron Paul says it's a disturbing power grab, establishes a new system of government. Uh, I've got his quotes here. Um, he says this will allow unlimited tax increases, no more filibusters, no more amendments. We are wide open. It's, it's like in Star Trek. The shields are down. We're just getting hit right now. I mean, this, again, I say I get chills. I used to get chills once a year when something freaked me out. I get them every five minutes now here on air. The hair on the back of my neck standing up. Total tyranny is being released. I'm going to try to be calm here, but the Senate just passed this. If we don't have a constitution and a bill of rights, we don't have anything. Every other country that has gone this way goes to hell in a handbasket. Larry Pratt, I'm sorry to be getting emotional here, but I am completely <laughs> freaked out. I, I can tell when a guy's on a table. No, this, this is kind of like the council in Plato where they go out behind the bulrushes and decide in secret what's going to be done, and then everybody else just kind of has to lump it. When this thing comes forth when this super congress comes forth with some nutty idea which could easily have gun control along with tax increases and uh, it goes to the president uh, it would take 34 votes as, uh, to sustain what what all is going on i mean they've they've really set it up so you almost can't stop blessed thing we need to vote against so many people Starting in the primaries next year, so many need to go. I sure hope people uh, like Ron Johnson of, uh, of uh, Wisconsin, uh, a plastics manufacturer, he just got so fed up with what was going on that he uh, got talked into running, actually. He became a Tea Party favorite in the state, speaking to a number of places, and that kind of built up his popularity. We need people like that to come out of the comfort of our homes and to stand for office. Uh, we but if we allow a super Congress to be set and, 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 and they kind of blandly go along and train us to accept it, they can start shutting off more and more true power of the House and Senate, and that's what this does i mean this absolutely is, have you ever seen anything like this larry that oh that's why the first act of the next congress hopefully is going to be to repeal this horrible piece of legislation which threatens 
everybody's agenda, not just gun owners, but they can do terrible things to property owners, to taxpayers, uh, businesses. This is, uh, it is a game changer. They have decided that we don't need the House of Representatives to originate um, revenue bills. We'll just have uh, the uh, the Super 12 uh, do that. And as you said, the Council of 13, really, with uh, the president thrown in for bad measure.